Welcome back, everybody. Post Christmas update and a very good start for the fresh uh, new 2026. Here, Samsung released One UI 8.5 Beta 3. So the version right now is Double Z ZZ Top A3. This version has a stunning file size of 1,262 megabytes and also brings security patch level from the 1st of January. What if not this, like start the year with a fresh new security update. Now, as I mentioned, the size is rather huge, but don't get yourself fooled Yeah. The bugs that have been fixed, the whole change log is just this. So apparently they fixed the clock display error on the lock screen, which is, I'm gonna show you this thing here. So you know about the adaptive clock. It's a very nice adaptive clock uh, developed by Samsung. I think that also other vendors have it. Why adaptive? Mainly for two things, because uh, let me show you, I'm gonna load up uh, this wallpaper that I've just selected uh, in case you don't know what this thing is. With this adaptive clock, Samsung is giving you this adaptive clock that can adapt itself. Jesus, should I say adapt one more time? No, it can adapt itself based on what you have on the wallpaper. It could be something that has a lot of contrast, like this thing here, a black a wallpaper, and then a building in front, of course, also a human being or a pet. But not only this, pay attention, when you move this thing around, it will not only change the shape, of the individual numbers is going to also shape and change the widgets, which is very, very cool, the colors. And I'm gonna show this case. So I'm now opening a brand new wallpaper. By the way, if you're asking where do I get these wallpapers, those are from the AMOLED Reddit. There is a specific Android app. And not only does it change based on the shade that is provided here, it also changed the colors and the widgets okay you can see right now they're somehow like soft blue and now not so soft so this is i think a cool thing and yeah you can see right now like we have this almost transparent widget line and i'm when i move it out of the order it gets like this just trying to increase the visibility so yeah not bad and apparently there was a bug with this adaptive clock i'm not sure if i experienced this uh but they say okay it has been fixed right now so you can load up your favorite Batman wallpaper or something else that is a favorite of yours and you can put a clock on the back just like I did right now I mean for no reason apparently but it works and it's a good thing so apparently this has been fixed what more they also resolve the issue related to the favorites in the phone application honestly I'm not sure if I ever got this issue my favorites are um, always like this now I get this message your favorite contacts now appear as cars you can change to list view in the more menu so I can put viewers list, um, yeah, which is not good. And if I now want to go back and select them as cars, I can have this view here. And I kind of like this new design language where you get the most important notifications like system notifications up from here. Contacts can no longer be saved on SIMs. Yeah, I'm not surprised. What else? They fixed the issue where the now brief does not display. Now, the now brief is this, and in one of the many iterations, they brought back the talking Rain now brief. Showers. All right, and they also added tons of new things for now brief. I can just show you very quickly content to include. Now you can include almost everything. And usually the now brief is going to appear here, right? So apparently there's been a bug not appearing here. Mm, this now should have been improved. They also improved the screen lagging issue when using a live effect in the gallery. Now let's try to check this whole live effect thing. So I'm loading up a picture. Now it's a bit weird because usually what one person wants to do very intuitively once you're here either click the edit all right where you can get all the old school fancy edit tools or click the magic galaxy ai button from where you can erase ai erase move create and, and you know do style things but even when you click create you're able to generate things like draw a head on the board and then get it so it's a bit weird because you have to just go up and then you get additional two menus, the remaster, which will help you to optimize apparently the quality of the picture, digitally upscale it, and if you have any blurs, kind of like make it better for you. But the other thing is actually this live effect. So when you click on the live effect, the phone is going to pray to all the AI gods and it's going to create something like this that you can save uh, as a jive or give, I guess. And this is the live effect. It's going to just slowly zoom in, zoom out and like sometimes pan left, pan out. 
uh, and this is pretty much what is going to happen to your picture. So right now, if I am to just go back, it's going to create something like a seven seconds video. And apparently before that, uh, it was laggy, not, not anymore. Honestly, uh, probably rarely use that function since I never experienced this lag. But hey, if you are a fan of live effects on the pictures, it's now has been fixed. Now look at this, it's one of my favorite. They improve the issue of high power consumption when a specific app is running but they're not telling you which up. All right, so please bring your crystal ball and try to discover for yourself. Anyway, jog aside, they also enhance the visibility of the search button on the widget edition screen. What do they mean by this? Click here and then go to widgets. So you're gonna see we have this search button. Okay, when I click it, it's going to disappear and it's going to transform into a search box from where I can search things like weather widgets. If I want it, I can go back and now it's gonna be here. But what happens when I try to scroll down a bit, like for the very first seconds, it's going to have a nice contrast background. This is, by the way, using the light mode. So let's see what happens when I'm using the dark mode. I would expect this to, yeah, okay, it works. It turns dark. But what happens when I go like this and I click it and then I scroll a bit and I go back on the screen, it's gonna appear, okay. So maybe they really fixed that one. All right, and if I go back, you're gonna see with some regret and maybe still some happiness left inside you about the one year 8.5 updates. This kind of has been it all. Now, in terms of smoothness, is this a smoother update? Well, honestly, one year 8.5 is working very good on my S25 Ultra device and I don't have that many issues with this. I can use Google Wallet, pay with NFC, all the animations are smooth, I guess. And let's try to check this one here. Yeah, all right, even this one, you see? So I really hope that One UI 8.5 will do the justice right for Samsung and for the One UI 8 release, which kind of felt a bit rush. And finally, we are going to get something that I do believe uh, matches all the other brands because you can see right now, I can keep doing this forever. It is what it is. I mean, it's not the best animation out there, don't get me wrong, but it's smooth enough. I think it is smooth enough. So not smooth as F, but smooth <laughs> enough. Let's try to check the home screen. About about the home screen, is there a new version? No, the last version is 17.500.169. The One year 8.5 Beta 2 update was all about the camera, getting crazy things in all the camera modes and also bringing some things back like the single take and the dual rack and stuff like this. And even moreover, giving us finally an updated version from the camera assistant that can do a lot of things and from which you can control a lot of these things. And probably the most important thing or highlight from the Beta 2 update was the touch autofocus and auto exposure and the Pro Video mode which for some reason, some point was not there, but now we have it and now I can click here and I can have something different. I can decouple now the auto exposure from the uh, auto focus, which is a good thing if you wanna shoot pro video. But what is weird enough is that the camera assistant, I had to download it as an APK, it didn't really appear here in the Galaxy Store, but I will expect to get all the apps updated. So right now, after me updating to 8.5 Beta 3 from yesterday, I have this eight updates to do, but you can see it's a bunch of, yeah, I would say not so important apps or it's not, I think, what we all want. What we all want, I don't know, but what I do want is to have finally home up. A lot of the good luck models work with the One UI 8.5 Beta 3, but the most important one or some of the most important one, like the home up, doesn't work. What else? What happens when we go to security and privacy? You know, is this going to be any updates we don't know of and we have to click here and maybe check? Yeah, for the Google System Play update because it's still from last year, November. Now we can see, yes, it's still the same, but the security update is a new one and I can now you know, flex with my new One year 8.5 update screen that kind of looks nice. And from here, go back to the last update. Uh, where I was able to give you all the information. So, in terms of updates, yeah, not so much. In terms of bug fixing, some. So we all hope for the next betas to start bringing some new improvements. But I also believe that since this is the S25 Ultra, we'll probably see the One UI 8.5 with all the nice whistle and bells on the Galaxy S26 Ultra, which 
sadly or happily enough, it's gonna be almost like the same phone with some new chips and maybe some new lenses, same camera sensors, maybe some small updates. Who know? I guess we're going to find out very, very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. VST over and bye.